part you want to shrink would actually is the one you want to heat. I guess that'd be the cap. Right. You can't really get to the cap too well. <laughs> yeah, it'll, it'll get heat through osmosis. Yeah. Moved. I don't know. Where did your socket explode? Get some rusty parts all squared away here. Yes. Yeah, there's, there's the cap. Nice. Interesting, interesting. Is That'll make it easier to press, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we got the U joint out. Holy crap, I should have had the camera rolling. That, all four of them were a pain. We snapped the ends of caps off with two. One of them literally exploded, and there's little bits all over around the press. That was. It's like a gunshot going off on a couple of them. Fun. Yeah, it was fun. But they're out. We're letting things cool because we used a lot of heat. So we're on to ball joints now. Kevin's favorite. Yay. Yeah. Well, these are going to blow apart next. Yeah, that's right. Yay. I don't have much battery, so I can't leave the camera rolling. But they're pretty dry, pretty, pretty crusty. Mm. Yeah, balls of grease in there. That's right. That's why they call them ball joints. Shouldn't be able to move it that easy. They're not grease ball joints. So, there's the old Harbor Freight Press. She's uh, done us good so far. Except for the... Killed us yet. That hasn't killed us yet. Except for the flake of orange that came off. We're not quite sure where that came from, but... <laughs> it's about to kill us. It's about to... Yeah. If you don't see this video, then you know something happened to us when we died. I'm going to go grab the uh, bigger sockets. No, oh, back to the shop. Or, back to the other shop. Find something that doesn't... Surface there. New ball joints going in. We made a little bit of noise on one of them. The upper, the, the upper, the upper, the lower. I can't remember which one went smooth. Lower. The lower. So the upper one made some noise. It was a little bit of a whoa moment. Kind of like the universal joints. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Going in. Smooth as a baby's bottom. I don't know about that. You go to jail for that nowadays. socket on top of a uh, ball joint with little socket in between going through the upper <laughs> ball joint hole. Take it all the way up. We're going to have to drop the, drop the bar. We're going to lower the bar. That worked. And I protected the grease. Grease protector. I'm sure you see what you want about Harbor Freight tools, but this press has saved us a couple of times now. Oddly enough, both on my truck. Yeah. I went down one, may have to go down another. So we need another bolt. So this one right Yeah, I should be out of one there. One more 
Okay. so far. Machined precision instruments of installation. Yes. Instruments of war. Yes. Alright, go ahead. There we go. Don't let it pop in your face. Okay, it's starting to go. Yeah, it's going. left now is uh, the universal joint. And then we can slap some of this stuff back together. Alrighty, so we're back here reassembling and we're having some issues with the ball joints. The uppers, I don't know if we can see it's getting dark. See that big gap there with the seal, that should be up tight. And then the nut is run down and the cotter pin hole is above the castellated nut. Now when we look at the other ball joints that came out, that hole is a bit lower. And then it's got a different seal on it. Other than that, the uh, ball joints seem to match up. So I think I'm going to go to a different source and order another, another set of upper ball joints. I've got the one we pulled out of this truck in, in the pickup, so I can take it with for comparisons. So I was hoping to get this end kind of reassembled, minus the inner and outer wheel bearings and rotor, because those aren't, the rotors aren't here yet. But we are at a stopping point yet again. These front ends seem to kick our butts. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll uh, be popping, probably, I'm guessing probably popping that upper ball joint back out. Installation's going to be a fun one. We have to use the old uh, C clamp method to, to do what? To put the new one back in. New what? Ball joint. Because oh. we came in through the bottom. Unless you want to pop that lower ball joint back out. Oh. 
but we'll worry about that when we come back to this. Alrighty, well that's uh, that's the failure for today. See, it's getting dark out here, and we're both getting tired, and I'm running out of battery, and the well, camera is, so you guys are running out of battery. And uh, like those wheels. So yeah, we'll come back to her next time. Catch you all later. Bye bye.